fellow physics teachers, uh, a few years ago, about eight years ago, I made a graph matching activity in Logger Pro, similar to the one that's already there. Uh, but mine was only five seconds long. And what I did is I added a score for the position time graph. The closer your line matches the theoretical line, the better the score. Better scores are lower. Uh, loosely speaking, it's the difference squared between what you walk, what the line is supposed to be. Um, there's a little more to it than that. But I got a request to uh, do this sort of scoring thing to the existing Logger Pro graph matching activities that a lot of us do. And also, uh, if we could do that for velocity and speed. So what I've done is I've taken graphs B through F and made position, velocity, and speed graphs, actually recreated it, and uh, you get a score. So if I hit start, you can hear the clicking. I'm just doing this with my hand, so it's not a very good score. Uh, we're going to get a score for those three graphs. And the lowest magnitude score closest to zero wins. So these are terrible scores. Uh, but the closer you get to zero, the higher the, the, or the better the walk is. Now, if you want to uh, make your own matching graphs, the easiest way to do that is to insert a table here, and you're going to see the data every 0.05 seconds. Um, here for the match data, the blue one. Every 0.05 seconds, you put the position in. Now, you could do that manually. It's a little tedious. So I made a spreadsheet that has it every 0.05 seconds, and you can manually type in the data or what I did is I used formulas like for constant acceleration and such. So I did that for each of the B through uh, G uh, motions and then what you do is you just drag down you copy and then when you go to Logger Pro in the position you just paste it there and the graphs will update. Then so it's not so obvious to the students I delete it. By the way if you're wondering how this is scored it's with these columns. So you've got uh, match data or your target data. Latest is your actual run. And then there are these scoring columns, the four of them. I do position, velocity, speed. And I actually did acceleration even though I didn't include a graph. You could do that. And if you double click on a column, you can see the formula. So like um, your acceleration score is your acceleration minus uh, the theoretical acceleration squared. Now for acceleration, velocity, and speed, I shrink it. Uh, that has to do with, um, see this white data? You have to graph the line in order to integrate it. So that's why I put a negative so it would go below and then uh, made it smaller so it doesn't show up so much. Uh, but that is basically how that works. Um, if you're uh, confused or you have any questions, just email me, daniel underscore hosey at hotmail. It's the easiest way to, uh, to find me. But I, I can help you uh, set it up. But it is a lot of fun. I've been doing it for years. The students find it addictive. And uh, it's fun.